know that everyone's going to want to break up in just a moment, so I just wanted to, number one, thank everyone for coming to our Simcha. We so much appreciate sharing the Simcha with such good friends and with family. Um, first, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Karen, Karen's parents and my parents. We appreciate everything that you always continue to do for us, and we hope that we continue to be able to give you not this and just very, very grateful that you, we could all celebrate here together. To the members of our Kehila, we are, Karen and I are tremendously indebted to all of you for all of the outpouring of help, especially when you have a large family such as ours, it does take a village. And um, with the bris, the meals, everything, we, we, uh, we love you all, and we, we're very, very grateful to all the members of the Kehila. And um, Karen and I are very grateful to all of you. Um, and to my wife, personally, I just thank Hashem, Akash Baruch every day that, uh, that we are uh, a good Ziva. Um, I just want to be able to explain the meaning of his name, Yirmiyahu Yitzchak Jeremiah Isaac, is what it would translate to in English. Um, we have a tradition in our family of naming all of our children after the prominent Kohanim. Yirmiyahu Hanavi was a Kohen, like our other children. And we also like the Three Dog Night song, but that's another example. <laughs> um, I want to read you a medrash. I want to read you a medrash about, about Yirmiyahu Hanavi. Three Dog Night. So that you'll get an idea about who he was and why he was so special. The, the medrash in Alpha Base of the Ben Sira says, Bishasha Hai Sahimo Karas Lele. That just as Yirmiyahu's mother was in labor, about to give birth to Yirmiyahu, he opened up his mouth, the Medrash says, and called out from inside his mother's womb. He called out, Father. He called out to his father. Excuse me, what's that? He says, I'm not going to leave until you tell me my name. So his father said, come on out. We'll give you a good name. We'll call you Abraham. We'll call you Yitzchak. We'll call you Yaakov. We'll call you all the different names of the Shvatim. And he said, I refuse to come out. Until finally, Eliyahu Zahur Lato, the Medrash says, Eliyahu Anobi comes along. Elijah the prophet. And he comes along and says, I got news for you. We're going to give you the name Yirmiya. Yirmiya, Jeremiah. And why are we going to give you the name Jeremiah? So the Medrash says, Shebi Yomecha Yakim HaKadosh Baruch Hu Oyev Sheyarem Yado Al Yerushalayim. Because in your day, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will bring, uh, will bring up, will lift up his hands and will bring an enemy who will come and destroy Jerusalem. So Marlo, so he said to him, Kach Shemi, he says, that's a good name, that's my name. Be'ata she'omarta li Shemi, yukari Shemi al Shemcha. He says, but you who have given me that name, I insist upon taking some part of your name and adding it onto my name. And therefore, he says, I'm going to take the end of your name, Eliyahu, and I'm going to add the letter Vav to my name and make it Yirmiyahu. Not Yirmiyah, but Yirmiyahu. And that's the end of the marriage. And then he came out, and then Yirmiyahu came out. It's a very strange marriage. Why did Yirmiyahu not want to come out until he was called by his name? Why was it necessary for Eliyahu to come along and give him his name? And why does the Navi have to interpret Yirmiyahu or Yirmiyah in such a negative way? Leharib is to lift up. Yirmiyah could mean that God's going to lift up the Jewish people. Why does he have to interpret it as God's going to lift up an enemy to destroy?